I'm Tobias from Cyprius. We do uh, lab automation equipment. Um, we have this new spin coating robot in our portfolio. Um, it uh, automates the whole step that is usually done manually. Um, it can move uh, substrates around. Um, it can automate the pipetting and uh, so all the very tiresome work uh, where you as a PhD, PhD often have, uh, have trouble and uh, make mistakes can be automated in this, uh, in this setup. And uh, our goal was to make a system that is suitable for every lab. So we offer it starting at uh, 36,000 euros. Um, in for the every base. lab? Yeah, every lab do something like, like this? Yes, every lab um, more or less that works uh, with, uh, with inks and printed electronics um, also works with spin coating. And yeah. So what is it doing right now? It just took the tip, now it opens the vial to take the ink. Um, it goes down, detects uh, where the, the ink starts, takes the ink, puts the lid back so that it doesn't evaporate and uh, now it will eject the ink on the spin coder um, and uh, all the timings and everything, the volumes can be set um, very accurately, more accurate than you would could do it manually. So with microliter precision and um, millisecond precision in the timings, for example, for perovskite uh, deposition, quenching steps that are really time relevant, here you can do it very accurately and reproducibly every day. Nice. Accurately, reprodu reproducibly, the quantities is precise? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can do, for example, 100 identical samples. That would be very tiresome, but if you want to do stability testing or so, you need a lot of samples and um, here you can do it fully automated with the same quality and uh, yeah, the next day you can start up over again. You can collaborate with uh, other labs, for example, exchange recipes that uh, other people then can uh, also reproduce very easily. Is this the information about it? Yes. So what do we That's see on our, this brochure? Here we see the, the flyer and um, yeah, the different right. applications where it's uh, suitable from semiconductors, perovskite, photovoltaics, batteries, fuel cells, OLEDs, lighting sensor, display applications, you name it. Um, we can do all the customization to uh, suit these different technologies and um, yeah, adjust the lab help of, uh, for your needs. Uh, Skyprios sounds like a Greek name. Yes, but uh, it's a, a combination of science printing of semiconductors. So it's a, an acronym for that. Where are you based? We are from Nuremberg in Germany. In All right, that's where I was just like last week at the Embedded World. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a big conference there. And um, it's a cool field to be working on the printed electronics and helping that field. It's a very mm -hmm. active uh, Yes, definitely. Industry. I mean, a lot of um, different inputs from, uh, from different groups. Uh, yeah, it's very active. Um, the procedures, um, they change very often. We need to develop new equipment all the time. Um, here we have uh, the unit um, with uh, an improved uh, ceiling. So now this is a uh, for example, for handling very volatile solvents like chloroform, so that you can heat it, but still it will not evaporate, and uh, it will keep the um, yeah this, the the volume constant. And then when you need it, it opens automatically, so you can integrate it also in the spin coating robot. Then we have measurement units we can integrate, so there are a lot of components that can be integrated and added to the spinbot system. Do you have many customers? Uh, yes, we are. We just started uh, this year with the system on the market, but uh, demand is already, um, yeah, very, very good, uh, and um, yeah, it meets our expectations. This so, is your booth, the whole area here. Yeah, the whole area is our booth. What automatic research is that your slogan? Um, yes, here we have also equipment for 
um, for example for doctor blading um, usual manual doctor blading when you go to larger sizes than spin coating and uh, would like to make uh, modules and um, here we have um, a measurement unit um, that has a lot of small SMUs to um, measure um, up to 72 solar cells at a time so this is a stability measurement setup for solar cells and right. uh, yeah. stability of solar cells yes so uh, all the all the cells you can illuminate them here you can put in uh, like nine substrates at a time in one of these holders and all of them can be kept in their maximum power point individually that's something that is uh, very often needed for uh, perovskite research. So a lot of uh, people are researching perovskite right now. They uh, want to make the yes. best solar. Uh, yes, definitely. And, and um, the efficiency is already um, uh, quite high, but the stability is one of the most active research fields at the moment. So here our uh, setup has also meets a quite high um, demand and um, yeah can. Nice. help a lot of labs to uh, increase uh, is the this throughput. in full mass production, this solution? Or is it like a prototype, one of the first ones, and people um, can get it later? No, this is, um, we, are now, we are now selling it. It's already uh, on uh, three continents <laughs> distributed in this uh, short uh, period after a couple of months. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of, um, a lot of customer demand from uh, San Francisco to Singapore, where cool. we already delivered systems.